Yo, what's up? My name is Blitz. I'm a For Honor competitive player and I'm making a 5 tips video. I'm making this video because I really just want to help out the community, you know? I tried to pick tips not a lot of people have given, or at least I have not seen really anybody give. And that's just the generic stuff like, don't add a third tag. Anyways, let's get into it. Alright, just in case you were fooled by the first couple of seconds of the opening. Haha. <laughs> I am actually not a girl. I'll give you a couple seconds to let that sink in. We've been tricked, we've been backstabbed, and we've been quite possibly bamboozled. <laughs> Alright, tip number five. Always deploy your troops. Pretty much every day there are some places on the campaign map which grant bonuses for deploying troops there a lot of the time on several bonuses on one map. The best ones are probably the XP boost. It can give 5% more XP every match if you just remember to deploy your troops, which is pretty nice, and you can do it from the match lobbies. There are other nice ones as well, like more loot and such, but uh, let's get into the other tips. All right, number four. Play close attention, young Padawan. This is the sacred art of ladder warfare. Now this would be two tips in one, encompassing both ladder punching and ladder picking. Let's get into it. First, let's start with ladder punching. It's common knowledge that you can punch while on a ladder. It only hits directly above you and requires precise timings to get a kill or knock someone off, but oh boy does that feel good. It demonstrates your superiority over the other player. I'm going to give you a broken tip that will have the message replaced by a bot happen every match. If you position yourself a little down from the peak of the ladder and only allow enough space for the imposing player to get on, it's a guaranteed kill as soon as they step on the ladder if you press the punch button. I don't have to explain why this is broken, but I'm gonna do it anyways. You can completely stop players from going down ladders, whether that be to chase you if you're low health or to make them not be able to rotate. Abuse it. Now, on to my favorite strat, ladder picking. This is a term I coined back when I started playing Zanhu for my comp team. Basically, it's knocking somebody off a ladder with a projectile, and it requires much more skill and timing than the previous tip. This is because if your projectile is locked onto the enemy, it will shoot where they are currently, not where they are going to be, Make it making it miss the person as they are moving up the ladder. Now, I have found some ways around this. On Overwatch, for example, where I get a majority of my ladder picks, you can negate the lock-on by hiding behind the railing, and time the projectile to hit them when they are at the top, making it an instant kill. You can play some mind games with this, like leaving a point and letting the enemy go for a back cap, just to have their dreams of free real estate crushed. Citadel is also a very good map to do this on, to stop people from rotating to C, or if you own the point, to stop people from- <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to our next tip. Tip number three, external crush encounters. External crush encounters can be incredibly useful in team fights. Say, Raider or JJ is throwing a neutral heavy, or Zanhu is attempting to throw a zone to your teammate. Crush encounters can shut down pretty much everything besides an unblockable. And as long as you use them externally, they can't be parried either. Black Cryers is especially good because he can backlight into pretty much everything. If fainted, the light has good hitbox and will end up hitting, it is unparryable because it's external, and if let go, it's a crushing counter that we usually still hit because it's a backlight anyways. There are so many interactions that honestly might just warrant their own video to explain. But here's some examples anyways. Oops. I was out of range, but whatever.
connectory. This is used in pretty much every top level game, but I don't hardly ever see it being used by the casual player base. It's extremely useful. First, let's start with what is connectory? Basically, it's stopping an enemy player from getting on the point. Say your teammates are ganking on the enemy home point. You don't want to add in because you're not a brainlet and don't want to add a third tag. I got news for you. Go to the enemy spawn and roleplay your favorite 24,000 year old wizard. You stopping the person from rotating gives your teammates much more time to kill, as well as to capture the point. And if the person really wants to get on the point that bad, they'll end up eating probably more than half their health trying to get away from you. At which point, you start the process again. Oh boy. External defense. These are the most broken defensive mechanics in the game. By that, I mean they avoid almost all options and stop a lot of neutral offense from ever touching you. These are the greatest tips I can give anyone in team fights to try to improve. External dodges, for instance, they move your character away from the character opposing you. Meaning it's not like you're dodging around them, you're dodging away from them. So you're avoiding more options as you would be in, let's say, a 1v1. You'd be dodging away from a GB. External dodges on some characters are quite weak but they may have other options, like in tip number three, let's say BP. If you think they will aggress, just externally black backlight, which counters pretty much everything. Nabushi, she can just zone and then dodge away to create space. Zahu can also do this, Orochi can do this, Pirate can do this. Other characters clear an entire football field for pressing the dodge button. Shinobi double dodges makes him virtually untouchable. Pirate can externally dodge attack away from pretty much all offense. So can many other heroes. Ra Raider has incredible side dodges, so does Berserker and PK and uh, some other characters. This may also warrant another video explaining all the heroes and their different external defenses, but overall I'm just gonna let some examples play out.